kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will be teaching you on how to use the Facebook SDK and how to log in first, and then I will teach you how to fetch the user information using the Facebook SDK in your Android project. All right, guys. So here, as you guys can see that I already have created the project and I will be showing you the demo first of all and then I will be showing you how we can do that alright guys so if you want to watch a proper tutorial on the Facebook authentication so uh, the link is in the video description so you can watch the the full video tutorial and after you watched that tutorial then you can uh, uh, you then you can Let's come back to that this video and okay so guys first of all let me show you the demo so here I will open the app and okay so here you can see that I have got the name last name and full name okay so when the user clicks on this login button so he will be the Facebook login will be opened and the user will enter his email and password and after the successful authentication so we will try to fetch the name last name and the full name along with the profile picture and also I I will teach you how to use the graph API to fetch the user gender and the user email address and many other things like date of birth all right okay so here let's try to open the app and I show you so yes okay so here you can see that I have this app and when I try to log in so here it is loading and it will take some time okay so I think it is taking a lot of time because my internet is very slow so I will just click on back button and I will connect my 4G device okay and I will try to open it again okay guys so I have reset my device router and I will try again to check so here I will click on the login okay so here it is asking me for the username and password so I will write that and I will click on login and I will click on continue sorry so I think I need to do do that again and here you can see that it is displaying my name last name and the full name along with my profile picture alright so let me show you how we can do that so first of all 
in your Android manifest so you should have the internet permission and after that we uh, we need to integrate the Facebook SDK so here you can see that I have got this Facebook SDK here inside our build.gradle and after that we need to now go to our layout file and inside that file we have the login button and then we have the three edit text along with the an image view okay so now what we can do okay so here inside our main activity so first of all we need to initialize all the views here so we have initialized that and also we need to first of all initialize the facebook sdk so for that we have the uh, let me show you the strings and here we can see that here uh, uh, we have the Facebook app ID along, along with the FB login protocol scheme okay so that is it then inside our Android manifest so we have to copy this and paste it here inside our uh, Android manifest.xml and after uh, after all this these things so now here we have okay so now first of all we need to initialize the callback manager class then after that we will uh, create a new method uh, in which we can you can see that we have the login manager dot get instance and here we are requiring for the user permissions so here you can see we are using the login with read permissions then we set the arrays as email profile uh, pr public profile and the user birthday okay then after that what we'll do is okay so here you can see that we have this login manager and this thing will uh, login us to the facebook sdk and here we can see that register callback then we pass this callback manager here and then we can uh, here there are these are the three methods on success on cancel and the on error all right then here we can handle the facebook uh, login with the, uh, the access token so here we can have we have got the access token by using this login result dot get access token okay so after that here we uh, we need to use this so here we, you can see we need have specified the callback manager here okay so after that we what we can do is um, okay so here uh, from this access uh, uh, from this access the token we can uh, print or get the user profile and here you can see we have this profile profile equal to profile dot get current profile and it will return the user information uh, for example his facebook id then facebook name medium name last name and the full name and also the profile picture and here you can see profile dot get profile picture uri and here you are specifying the dimension of the image and after that we just uh, set these three things here and then we uh, have used the picasso to load the image and okay so here this is the okay so let me just remove it because we are not using the bundle object okay so here uh, we are what is this request one so here we have this graph request and it okay so here we are requesting for the facebook graph api and it is returning us the email id then it is returning us the gender then the name all right and that is it all right guys so i hope that you have understood something so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and also make sure that you watch my facebook authentication complete video tutorial i will upload the video link in the description all right so one last thing which i think i have uh, forgot to mention uh okay so yes all right guys so if you like the video please do like share and subscribe